Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since we've done a cooking video. And I feel like Nora Smith today because I have a cute little outfit on. Hair is done, makeup's done, jewelry on, outfit. So I'm excited to get into this video today. I'm making a Rasta pasta, which I haven't eaten in a while. I was about to take my rings off and then I remembered I don't have to because I am wearing Anna Luisa jewelry, okay? If you haven't heard of Anna Luisa jewelry, first of all, do you even watch my videos? <laughs> I've been wearing them for years. Specifically, this necklace here is six years old and it still looks the way that it did when I got it in like 2017 or something. I don't even know how many years ago. That was maybe six. <sighs> Math is never doing anything. Anyways, Ana Luisa Jewelry. They are amazing. I love them because they have amazing pieces at super affordable prices. They have pieces starting at $39. So if you're looking for a Mother's Day gift, then they got you because they have really great pieces for amazing prices. They're also carbon neutral from their packaging to their products so that you know that you can purchase this guilt-free without worrying about harming the environment. They have these cute little pouches that they put all their jewelry in and you can store them in there later. I actually put other things in there. Like I just use them for whatever. If you're in the US, unlike me, they also have free shipping and exchanges and a two year warranty, which you more than likely will not need because the pieces speak for themselves. Again, this piece here is so old. I have so, I think I have like at least 15 pieces from them and I still wear all of them to this day. So if you are interested in purchasing from Anna Luisa, make sure to check out the link in my description because you're gonna find a link that gets you a discount. Discounts up to 25% off. All right, let's cook. We're gonna salt our boiling water because we're making a rasta pasta, like I said. So we're gonna start with the noodles just boiling and then we're gonna get onto the saute action and all of that. And because I'm wearing Anna Luisa, I can keep my rings on while I cook. Okay, we're gonna start with some bell pepper, mushroom, and onion and garlic. We're gonna saute that on the pan with some butter and I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start off by putting some olive oil on the pan and I'm gonna start cutting up my veggies. So we got our pepper, our mushroom, our onion. Oops, I like to, st wrong knife. I like to start with my onion because I like that to kind of cook down a bit more than the others because I really hate raw onion. I also do a pretty rough chop when I'm cooking a rasta pasta because I don't need it diced too much. So I just do thin slices. But this is not a tutorial video, this is a cooking video, just like a cook with me as I chat. All right, what did we talk about today, guys? Should we talk about my dating life? <laughs> it's non-existent. Should we talk about my career? Non-existent yet. Should we talk about school? Just finished the semester. Uh, did you guys know that I was in school? I don't even know if you guys knew that. Probably. I think I break it as if it's like news every time I mention it. I don't think it's news anymore. I think it's pretty common on this channel. Ashley Flores TV is back in school. Even though she said she hates it and she dropped out in 2018. I don't know why I'm speaking about myself in third person. That's weird. Look at me washing veggies with rings on. I keep saying that I'm going to make a video on why I chose to go back to school. Let me get my pasta one sec. The Italians are going to hate me after this. I'm so sorry. Oh, that made a mess. I will make a video about it, but I guess I will just say like, once the social media life started to slow down after the pandemic, I started to think like, hey, I have no resume experience and no backup plan. I just have this social media thing going for me. And yes, I am aware if I want to become a social media manager, I don't need a diploma. I just need experience and I need to be good at what I do. However, I don't know if I want to become a social media manager. Like, I don't know if that's what I want my life to look like for the rest of my life, you know? Like, I don't know if that's the career path that I want. And everybody keeps telling me, like, it's so interesting because when I dropped out, people, I felt like judged me so much. Like, I feel like I got so much judgment from so many people. And now that I'm going back, everyone's just saying, you know you don't need to go to school to get a job, right? And I'm like, I get that. I understand, it's 2024, I understand. But if I wanna go get an education, why is everybody trying to convince me not to? You know what I mean? Life was moving really fast the time that I dropped out of school and I don't regret it. I think it was the best decision I made at that time. And I'm happy I did it at that time. You know, I was able to write my book. I was able to, you know, continue on my YouTube journey for that time. 
but things started slowing down. It's kind of like, you know, however YouTuber moves to LA and drops out of school and quits their job and then does it all again seven years later. So many of your favorite YouTubers went back to school when their channel started to die out. The algorithm really changed in 2020 and you know, like I make significantly less money on YouTube and if I'm being really honest, I had to go back to work. And once that happened, I started to realize, oh my God, things can change at any second and I have no control over this thing called the internet and websites like YouTube. Like think about the fact that the TikTok ban is happening right now, potentially, you know what I mean? People's entire livelihood is, is dependent on TikTok. What are they going to do? Because TikTok followers don't translate well to Instagram. Have you ever seen a person on TikTok with 2.5 million followers and then you go on their Instagram and they have 11K? Yeah. I just feel like having a resume that has education, experience, all of that is helpful. I also like the network opportunities that come with um, going to school. I like that I can make friends that are in the same field as me. Wow, this garlic is really putting up a fight. I just like the idea of being a student again. So I went back to school. I've been in school since January and it has been quite the experience. I feel old. Unfortunately, I do. I'm not old, but I feel old. Oh, mushrooms. I forgot about the mushrooms. Ooh, if you guys could smell that right now. Mm. Anyways, yeah, so that's like the rundown of why I went back to school. If anyone's interested, I can make a video on it. I don't know if anyone's interested, but that's pretty much why. The smell of veggies being sauteed just smells so good. What else is new? Um, I've had so many jobs. One thing that people don't talk about when you're in school is finding the perfect part-time job that will pay your bills while you're a student is really difficult because you are pretty limited in terms of what types of jobs you can get. Any decent paying job is gonna be full time, which you don't have time for when you're a student. So you have to kind of not downgrade, I guess downgrade, yeah, and like go for minimum wage jobs. I've been fortunate enough that I have like experience to be able to venture out of the minimum wage jobs, but my options are still very limited. I'm not making the money that I want to be making at 29 years old, but it's because I'm a student. I don't have the availability to work a high paying job. A marketing firm or a PR agency or an entertainment agency is not going to be like, yeah, we'll have you in for 12 hours a week. They want you in for a 30 to 40 hour work week. So until I'm doing like internships and co-op, I don't really have the option of getting a job that's going to like propel my career. You know what I mean? So I've been kind of stuck having to do like reception jobs. I was working at an optometry clinic um, and doing like admin work, part-time, things like that. I want to do data annotation. Um, if anybody has any tips on that, let me know. But yeah, it's been hard to find a job that I actually like. I was doing reception at a car dealership for a minute, but I just felt like it was so much work and underpaid. So I moved on to an optometry clinic and the manager there was a narcissistic Leo and didn't like that I didn't kiss his ass. So I got fired, which is crazy. There's like a whole story behind that, but I'm just not gonna get into it. But just know I was not the problem, honestly. I know when I'm the problem and I was not the problem at this place. He was, he's a weird, sick, strange man who picks favorites. But I really liked the team. The team was lovely. I really liked the people that I worked with. Um, and I thought I liked him, but he just had that narcissistic mask going on good for the first bit. So anyways, yeah, that happened. Um, so I'm now working somewhere else that I don't really want to say because it's a well-known place. Um, but I work in the head office, which is nice because I get to put on my little corporate girly outfits and like get a little coffee and go to work. I don't know. It's kind of cute. So I actually haven't started yet. I start on May 6th. So wish me luck. This video might, oh no, this video will definitely be up before then. We have our veggie sauteing. We're gonna add some jerk seasoning and some pesto. I know that sounds like an interesting combination, but I feel like it'll be good, okay? Just trust me on this. I know you can't see me, but I'm here. Um, I guess I'll give you a dating life update. I have not been dating. I have my little heart low-key broken. I wouldn't say 
broken but hurt bad but not as bad as last time that was bad that was that was kind of embarrassing too to be honest um looking back at my content from 2021 i'm like oh she was in pain <laughs> um anyways yeah i was hurt earlier this year so i took a dating pause for a minute i went on some dates and i realized like i just have no desire to deal with men right now and not because of that person it's more because i don't trust men right now i'm gonna say that again i don't trust men right now at all i really wish you guys could smell this it smells amazing i'm gonna put more pesto and more jerk in here because i know that i'm liking these flavors yeah, I don't trust men, honestly. I just, I wasn't cheated on or anything. Honestly, I feel like I was, I may as well have been, but I wasn't cheated on. Um, but I'm realizing that men will look you dead in your eyes and lie to you and do it again and do it again and do it again and feel nothing. They feel nothing. I find that a lot of men selfishly lie to protect themselves and to protect you but it's really to protect themselves because they can't take the heat because they're all anyways yeah i just feel like i don't trust what men say to me anymore i feel like i'm a little bit jaded which is really unfortunate because i've never been that person but i now take men at face value which is kind of good i guess i learned from it because now i'm able to deal with a man in the way that they deserve to be dealt with in the sense that like I'm gonna take you for who you are and what you're showing me, and I'm gonna go with that. If you show me the littlest bit of inconsistency or unreliability or red flag, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Because when somebody shows you who they are, you have to believe them. And I'm always like, oh, but they're this, oh, but they, th 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 th. girl, come on now. <laughs> no, we're not doing that anymore. So yeah, I feel like I could date right now. Um. I still won't believe anything they say to me, but I think that's okay because I feel like everybody should start at zero and then the trust builds. I used to start people at 100 and when they betray me, I trust them less and I trust them less and I trust them less, you know, and you get down to 30 and then you get down to two. Now you start at zero. I don't trust you and you're going to do things that allow me to build that trust and faith in you and I think that's okay. I think that's a safe way to live, so. I'm not fully jaded, thankfully. I still believe in love. I still love love. I still want love, not right now, but I do want it. I just need some time to, you know, be able to want to give somebody my energy and time. So that's where I'm at in terms of dating. I haven't been on a date in a while. I might set one up, I don't know. Right now I'm not interested though. Okay, this is smelling lovely, so I'm gonna add, ooh, white wine, oh my god, I almost forgot the wine, what is wrong with me? How could I forget the wine? Is this rosé? Oh, no, no. We'll use cooking wine then. So you know about, you know about school, you know about work, you know about my love, love life. Now we could talk about maybe friendships? I've got a lot less of them this year, hmm, a lot less. I have some trust issues with friends as well, unfortunately, right now. Like, they're not severe, but I feel like I've kind of been hurt by a group of friends that I didn't realize held such a place in my heart, and right now I'm working on rebuilding that. I think it's just like one of those situations where everybody has their own version and their own understanding of a situation and if you care about each other you can choose to move forward sometimes both people can be right and both people can be wrong and you just have to figure out what you want to do about it so that's kind of the situation that i'm in which has made me a little bit more cautious about the friends that i'm making now i'm trying to make friends in the creator space because that's what i do like the content creators i'm trying to tap into that scene in toronto which i'm really doing and i'm really happy about I just want to say something right now. I'm not wearing my glasses and I can't see. So I need you to understand, this is big for me. Like, I'm too vain to wear my glasses on camera, if I'm being honest. I can't see anything. So if this turns out good, then I'm a chef. Anyways, so I've been going to like a lot of influencer events, which are really cool. I'm sure they're very different like in Toronto than they would be in like New York or LA or something. But they're very interesting because you kind of have to play the game. If you try to have a deep conversation at one of these events, people just kind of like look through you, like what is this girl talking about and why is she talking about this here? 
you're kind of having the same conversation over and over again in my opinion so it's a lot of oh what do you do are you a content creator as well oh what kind of content do you make what's your main platform oh my god do you work with brand that's really what it is like it's just the same conversation over and over and over again so i think i just battle with like having to just play the game of just like being there for the small talk and the networking as opposed to making connections i'm the kind of person that i want to talk about your trauma in 2.5 seconds like open up to me let's chat let's talk about life and love and death and grieving and happiness and animals you know like i just want to talk about anything but these events i think people go in with the mindset of networking and it's business, right? So it's a lot of what can I do for you? What can you do for me? Is it worth exploring this connection? You know what I mean? So I do wish that we could get into some more deep chats at these events, but they're really fun. And I feel like I'm making like potential new friends, which is really exciting. So I'm happy about that. I love watching a ribbon of cream in the sauce. I think that's enough. Is it enough? No, that's not enough. I think this will last me like until tomorrow, this sauce. And then once I do this, then I season it a bit more. We have pesto and jerk, so we don't need to season it too much. We have salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna add some powdered jerk, some Cajun and some chili flakes. Okay, I don't know where my powdered jerk is, so I'm gonna add Italian instead. So some chili flakes, because I love spice. A little bit of Italian, not too much. I don't wanna overpower it. Some Cajun. Oh, I found the jerk. A little bit of jerk. Okay, I might be over seasoning it. That's good, that's good. There's a lot of flavors going on here. And then I'm gonna add some fresh parsley. And I'm gonna save some for garnish. And then we're gonna mix, mix, mix. But yeah, I just want somebody to tell me why it's so difficult making friends in your late 20s. You know, like, it used to be so easy. All you had to do was be neighbors and you're like besties. Now, hmm. You need to have shared values, similar lifestyles, common interests. There's a lot more that goes into it. If you want a long-lasting friendship, I'm not talking party friends or work friends. I'm talking friends, long-lasting friendships. The ones that you bring to your wedding and that meet your parents. Anyways, that's my tangent on that. Let's add some cheese to this, shall we? I know that's a lot of cheese. I know, I love cheese. I turned the heat down, let's put it up to four. So the pasta is a little more than al dente so that's why it's so soupy like so saucy because i wanted it to kind of cook with the sauce and it's gonna get thickened up with that cheese i'm gonna do a noodle test and just see how it tastes oh that's really good mm. i'm gonna let the sauce thicken up a bit and then i'm gonna show you guys the final result which is gonna be delicious i can already tell here is the final plate Look at that, that is beautiful, isn't it? I put parsley, I put parmesan. Actually, no, that's granite padano, but let's do a first taste test. Oh, that is steaming. Oh my God, that is so good. It's interesting too, because I always put protein, like some type of meat or shrimp or something in my pasta. And I genuinely forgot today up until halfway through cooking, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to put shrimp in because I meant to put shrimp, but it has so much flavor that I don't even care. And because the veggies are cut up like roughly, like they're pretty big chunks, that's like bursts of flavor, kind of like what chicken would give you or something. So I'm not mad at it. This is really good. And after all that hand washing and slicing and dicing, the rings are still ringing. Once again, if you are looking for tarnish-free, high-quality, affordable jewelry, make sure to check out Ana Luisa. The link is in my description. You can get up to 25% off, which is a very big discount, especially with Mother's Day coming up because Mother's Day is an expensive one. Anyways, I'm going to go eat this and watch Marry My Husband. Is anybody watching that? Is that... Mm. If you haven't watched Marry My Husband, oh my god it's on amazon prime it's a k-drama it is so good and so juicy your jaw will be on the floor from episode one from minute two it's wild so go watch it okay i'm gonna go enjoy this pasta and my k-drama and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching